programme this week. Over 160 hopefuls turn out for this year's Verbier Challenge Cup, Ski Club sponsored skier Ed Drake looks back at his amazing season, and see what happens when 300 skiers and boarders all decide to head home at the same time. Hi and welcome to this week's Snowcast with me, Emma and Bethany. Now the sun was shining last week uh, for one of the ski club's most popular resort races and Lizzie Crookenden was out there to report back. Every year the Verbier Challenge Cup attracts skiers of all ages and abilities and 2009 was no different. 167 entrants turned out on this stunningly warm and sunny day and were keen to get their bibs on and start racing. There was a fresh crop of entrants this year, some as young as three, as well as some familiar faces. And as usual, there was fierce competition as parents and families came to cheer on the racers. First time we've ever been to uh, do this little event. Got three boys in the event and it gives them an opportunity to uh, be a real skier. Yeah, awesome. Best day ever. We're having a great day. We have all the children competing, including oh, a five-year-old who just wiped out. <laughs> oh, no. Later on, there was a packed-out prize-giving at the Hotel L'Atelier, where all the children under 12 got a medal, and the overall winners took home hoodies, goggles, skis and poles. Well, sticking with the racing theme, one of our Ski Club-sponsored riders, Ed Drake, was in Ski Club HQ earlier this week. And our very own Juliet Dyke caught up with Ed to find out what he's been up to this winter. Yes, welcome to the snowcast, Ed. Um, now, the 08-09 season has been a phenomenal one for you. You scored several career bests, you shot up in the FIS rankings, and you're now joint British champion. How does all of that make you feel? Yeah, it makes me feel over the moon. I've had such a, such a good season. It's been tough at the beginning over the summer and stuff. But yeah, I got a great result in Ride Around at the beginning of the year in, in uh, Europa Cup, and then went to my first World Cup in Wengen, which was absolutely amazing. And then, yeah, topped it off with great British champs. You were in Maribel recently when Alan Baxter announced his retirement. Was that sad news for you to hear? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Alan's such a, such a great friend as well as a great athlete. And it's, it's a shame that his career's come to an end, but every athlete has to finish somewhere. And I think in Maribel's the ideal place. It's the closest to a British a home race that he's going to get. So I'm pleased to see him go out on such a high. Now, I've heard a rumour that you and the rest of Team GB might be off to Chile again to train this summer. What are your hopes for that? Yeah, I mean, ideally, yes. I mean, it's the best form of summer training that we're going to get with it being winter down there. So that is the plan. But who knows with the, with the old credit crunch what's going to happen. You've been sponsored by the Ski Club for just over nine years now. How crucial was that early support for you in your career? Yeah, I've been very lucky. The Ski Club have been really good to me and uh, and very grateful for that. It's, it's very tough as a youngster to, to get sponsorship and you're relying on, on the bank of mum and dad to pay for it all. So, I mean... It, it is key, it's massively important otherwise, and it makes you think that other people are believing in your talent as well, so it's not just sort of you and your, and your folks and your, your trainers pushing you on, there's some backing behind you too. Now, fingers crossed for you, Ed, and looking forward to 2010, what are your hopes for the Olympics? Yeah, I mean, this is going to be my first Olympics, which I'm extremely excited about, and fingers crossed, stay injury-free, I mean, that's key as well. But, um, yeah, it's kind of a stepping stone and get my experience and stuff ready for 2014 in uh, Russia, but with the right training and stuff and there's no reason why I couldn't get top five, top three, so that's the plan. Well on behalf of the Ski Club we wish you all the very best for the Olympics, we know that you can do it. Thanks very much. Another Ski Club racer, TJ Baldwin, also had success out in Maribel at the British Land Championships, claiming the overall junior title, so it looks like our racers are on a bit of a roll. <laughs> well now moving on to the snow, and big news in Austria, snow is on its way, yes after a sunny couple of days, um, they're expecting snow over the weekend in the Allberg resorts. Good news in France as well, snow is falling again and is expected to get even heavier into the weekend. So spring conditions lower down, snow up top, so a good choice would be outdoors, teens and some of the high altitude resorts. Well, spring weather over in Switzerland too. Although that said, Grement, Sasve and Zermatt have all had light dustings, but watch out and stick high because it could fall as rain lower down in resort. And snow is also expected in Italy, so it should add a fresh layer onto the spring base. Um, Cormaier is expecting new snow, as is Trevigna, and they're saying there's might be up to 50 centimetres in Trevigna. So good news. Sounds good. Well, in Andorra, conditions remain largely the same, although they are having great spring skiing thanks to the deep snow bases. But luckily, snow is on its way this weekend at all the resorts that we report on. 
and in Norway and Sweden, again, spring conditions dominate. We might see some new snow in Åre in Sweden, and the biggest snow base is now in Voss in Norway. Well, it's the last week of skiing for many resorts in Germany, but Garmisch and Oberstdorf are planning to plough through into May thanks to their altitude and the deep snow base. So all the resorts are now closed in Bulgaria, although Borovets may open this weekend if they get enough snow. Back in the UK, in Scotland, well, Cairngorm is flying the flag for Scottish skiing. Um, snow is hard packed there in the morning, but it's softening up as the day goes on. Now, over in the States, there's been some fresh snow in Utah and in California. In the Utah resorts, including Ulta, Snowbird and Park City, have had over 50 centimetres, so conditions there are excellent. Well, a similar story on the west coast of Canada. Alberta and British Columbia resorts have all had a snowy week, and the good news is that even more is expected this weekend. And on Ski TV this week, in a fitting finale to the Brits in Lax, over 300 skiers and boarders race down the mountain to claim the coveted Red Bull home run title. It's going to be carnage. Carnage. It's absolute carnage. Carnage. It's just carnage. 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 More than carnage. It's going to be like the worst thing that's ever happened. Well, our own Ski TV editor, James Rowden, also took part this year. So, James, how did it go? James, did you win? Will you be going back next year? I think that's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.